on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. As we can see, Kenya and Marlo gets into it once again. As we can see, these two are never going to be besties. Now it all went down after the ladies went to the charity event that they thought was going to be so glamorous and it was not and they got kicked out of the event so they was not having as much fun as they thought that they were going to have so they wanted to know what did Kenya have planned for them on the rest of the trip so Kenya wasn't telling them so they went and banged on her door on her door while her little baby was asleep in the room they couldn't wait until the next day and talk to Kenya about it no they had to know right then and right there and they was banging on her door at the hotel room it's a wonder that they did not disturb any of the other girls and Kenya warned them she said her child is sleeping in the room and plus if you keep on banging she gonna call the police because Marlo she was really banging it out on that door because she was upset and she and Kenya as we all know have this love hate relationship they are not the bestest of friends so then after they left and they was leaving i guess marlo was upset because manetta is friends with kenya so why is she shutting the door in manetta's face i mean why is she so upset uh, with manetta because of what kenya is doing this is just crazy so the craziness continued with marlo and uh, so what did Manetta say? She said, does she want to go back to jail again? Because we all know that Marlo has a history. She has been locked up before for, I believe, allegedly cutting somebody's face. So she is not putting a good image out there for herself. Didn't she supposed to be going to coaching for her anger and stuff like that? So Marlo is not keeping her cool. I mean, she wasn't just not letting you know so she was just not picking on you she didn't tell any other ladies what was going on it was supposed to be a surprise so of course marlo could not let kenya have her thunder and now it seems like she has issue with manyata as well so after marlo shut that throat in her face she said she is not gonna call pookie and them but she can definitely call ray ray and them so apparently she has connection with them hood rats if needed to take care of things allegedly but we all know how marlo is so you might want to hurry up and call them i am just saying but this is not looking good for marlo it seems like she was attacking Drew Sidora on the last episode and it seems like she had Drew Sidora shook all oh, because she was mad with Candy because Candy did not acknowledge her, her nephew when he unfortunately passed away but she took it out on Drew Sidora. So even though Marlo is going to cancel and it seems like she has a long, 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 long way to go. So has Manetta taken the place of Cynthia as being the new besties of Kenya now? Things are really heating up on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now they might have been slipping the rating, but after this episode, I expect that the ratings will go right back up. Because these ladies have been thoroughly entertaining. And not only this, the ladies called Kenya and uh, let her know what was going on. They just wanted to know what did she have planned. So she did tell them she wanted it to be a surprise. She is going to be participating in the band. So the ladies, you know, they was all talking to Kenya. And Kenya was saying, you know, the people that are not her core friend, just go on ahead and go home. So everybody was kind of a little bit quiet. And then Sonya broke through and she was saying something. And, you know, Sonya said, you know, she just wanted to know what was going on. You know, she was going back and forth. And uh, so she wanted to know. I guess she wanted to know whether it was worth her coming back or not. Or whether, you know, whether she should stay at home. And Kenya said, well, just leave. She just told her just leave. Now, that was a bit rude on Kenya's part. The lady had to travel all that way to support Kenya for her trip. And she told the lady to just leave. And then they was talking again, and then Sonya was saying something, and then she was talking about who is this, as if she didn't know Sonya's voice, so she was being rude once again. So Kenya went to the hospital, and everybody was worried about Kenya. Now Sonya had to leave, but Marlo, she decided to stay. Hey, Kenya woke up the next morning after this drama, all of this craziness had went down, and it seems like Kenya was pretty much having a panic attack. Now, according to Kenya, they said that she had the flu. Now, the ladies the next day, they were still worried about Kenya, and Marlo had said she had tried to send Kenya some flowers, and she found that Kenya had checked out of the hospital. So Kenya didn't even tell the other ladies that she had checked out of the hospital, which leads some people to wonder, was Kenya doing this just for a storyline? Was she really scheduled to play at that March band with that HBCU? 
the world may never know but she did have a cute little outfit so i think she was really going to be playing there the band and she was going to be passing out some of her products promoting her hairline products but unfortunately it seems like she had a panic attack because uh you know it seems like it was because of marlo was banging and kicking on her door but i don't know if that was necessarily it she said that it's been something that had been ongoing for two weeks so maybe she was exhausted maybe she was just overworking herself and then marlo kicking on the door did not help the situation at all now the lady was talking about marlo actions marlo said she don't even remember banging on the door this is crazy and also Manetta wanted to know girl why did you shut that door in my face so she denied that she did this and she was looking crazy well she didn't really deny it but Cherie said that the door was heavy so that gave Marlo a way out yes that the door was heavy but of course Bravo rolled back that footage and we could see that Marlo shut that door was pushing that door in Manetta's face closing that door on Manetta but it's very highly doubtful that Kenya was faking the butt because after all she did have to go to the hospital I don't think that she would have faked that but thank goodness that Kenya is doing all right though because like I said it looks like she had some type of panic attack or something like that but she did say that she somehow came down with the flu so Sheree went to visit Kenya to talk about the entire situation and Sheree wind up telling kenya that she has something to tell her and that is that she's expecting yeah she is pregnant but she was playing she is not really having she's not really expecting you know my mind went to okay not by martel but anyway she's not expecting and so we see mama joyce visiting candy because candy is highly upset about the way that mama joyce was talking about her husband todd on bravo come and Mama Joy says she is giving over a cold. So what is going on with the cast of Real Housewives of Atlanta? Drew Sedora, she was diagnosed with the flu, apparently. Kenya Moore was diagnosed with the flu. And now Mama Joyce is talking about she is getting over a cold. So Candy brought up the fact to Mama Joyce that for a while that they were not talking at the Bravo Con, you know, after Mama Joyce said all those derogatory things about her husband Todd. So Candy confronted her mother about the things that she had said on Bravo Con. And she said, by the way, those things that you said about my husband, they went viral. And what did Mama Joyce have to say about this? She said she is not going to lie. She told the truth. Well, she did tell the truth about he being short. But what about the other things, Mama Joyce? Come on now. You wanted her to marry somebody with a better job, but isn't Todd a hard-working man? And didn't he have at least a decent job before he and Candy got together? He was working there at Bravo. A long time ago, Mama Joyce did say she didn't want her millionaire to marry a $100,000 heir. This is what she said in the past. Well, you know, mothers always want what's best for their children, but this she had to say it at BravoCon on national television. I am just saying child mama joyce was talking about she had told the truth and it seems like candy was at a loss for words now we was all her talking to todd earlier she said she was not going to be that gentle with mama joyce but it seems like you know she got at a loss for word after mama joyce talking about she is going to tell the truth <laughs> oh my goodness mama joyce has me cracking up now i did love mama joyce's hair her glasses and her outfit that orange outfit that she had on in this scene child can to say that um the negative energy be coming from her mom because she did not have nothing nice to say about dodd and mama joyce said she don't have nothing nice to say because you know when she come over he be sleeping he don't ever come around and can say he don't come around because of you but candy did tell her mother that at this point it is getting out of hand i guess all of those negative derogatory things that mama joyce has been saying about todd and candy put her foot down she said that it has to stop i mean you know candy said this is gonna be their nine year anniversary that is coming up that these two have been married it seems like mama joyce just needs to get on board stop with the negativity and just accept that these two are married and they are in it for a lifetime well at least for nine years for now and that is a long time now candy said now you love your grandchildren don't you and you know you don't want the grandchildren to see what you had to say about their daddy years to come and here what did mama joy say mama joy said you know you know she wanted to have ace taken out the trash at six years old and that is what 
something that a man should be teaching i guess a boy child to do but candy was giving her the side eye maybe candy is the one that does not want ace to be taken out the trash at six years old i'm just saying child and mama josh went on to say that when she married todd he was a meek and humble person but now he is like a george jefferson <laughs> i guess very outspoken and cocky but when we look at this show it seems like todd is hard working you know with the opening up of the restaurants and it seems like he done wrote a play now come on mama joyce Charles, mama joyce say if you love your man you love your man if you love your man not take it out the trash and go to the strip clubs come on mama joyce don't care to go to the strip clubs too i am just saying come on now but you funny it's all outdoors mama joyce i got to give it to you child candy say they go to the strip club together she is not threatened by her man going to the strip club just remember now mama joyce candy got the bedroom candy she got a little freaky side to her as well i am just saying child candy was like what do your man do you know uh what do your man like to do or something like that she asked mama joyce and mama joyce was like if i get one and candy was saying exactly child you ain't got no man so leave my man alone so candy recommended that they go to counseling so i guess it has gotten just that bad that she feels like mama joyce need to go to counseling because as you can see mama joyce is not gonna come around mama joyce is set in her ways but mama joyce to our surprise does agree to go to counseling this should be very interesting to see her in counseling i think that the counselor is gonna need some counseling after treating mama joyce so it seems like kenya has planned another event but this time for just her sheree and drew Sidora. they're gonna be getting a vitamin drip you know because they have all been a little bit under the weather as of late so apparently drew Sidora and sheree have issues together because drew was getting ready to hug sheree but sheree's you know just give me a high five girl because she said she has issue with drew Sidora. So it appears like Cherie and Drew Sidora are not getting along this season. All because of what Drew has said about Sheree's clothing line. Apparently, you know, the website, I believe the website had crashed and people could not order merchandise for a while. But apparently the website is back up now. So Cherie said that, you know, she and Drew Sidora are not going to be besties. But guess what? She can buy some of her clothing anytime that she wants. So a lot of drama is going on between these ladies and the friendship or the lack of friendships that they have with some of the castmates and some of the castmates are not getting along with each other but this is the dynamics of their friendships so some of these ladies are quite friendly together and some of these ladies you know they cannot quite get along with each other but it seems like you know they're going to try to at least coexist so this is what is going on on the real housewives of atlanta this has been the most drama filled episode yet and of course like i said always at the beginning it's a little bit like lesser because they got the set the foundation of what is to come so that we can understand the dynamics and how these ladies are getting along or either not getting along i was thoroughly entertained by this episode but anyway these are just my thoughts and opinion let me know what you thought about the entire situation about marlo banging on kenya's door do you think that she had the right to be out there banging on kenya's door in the middle of the night at a hotel room or do you think that she could have just waited until the next day and also what do you think about kenya having to go to the hospital do you think that it had to do with them out there knocking on her door do you think that that was the last thing that pushed kenya over the edge i mean it does seems like it was like in rapid succession so let me know what you think about the drama that is going on on this episode and during this season as well and what did you think about the episode you know people were saying that the episodes was boring but i thought that this episode had quite a bit of drama in it i think that the ladies are really starting to bring it so let me know leave a comment below and as always thank you so very much for stopping by my page make sure you like this video you haven't liked the video yet come on now go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and go on ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel and come back and watch my next video this is liz keeping up with the biz and i am out it's liz with the biz 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 
Yo, this is Liz with the beard. This is Liz with the beard. She's telling it how it is. And she gon' keep it real because it is what it is. It is what it is. Yo, this is Liz with the beard.